Okay, so I just I just got back from a game crash, kind of. It was, it was a dream. Only way to explain it, I guess. Really weird. Um, I don't know what was going on. It was really simple. I, I stopped paying attention for a little bit, and then when I was paying attention, there was a full out war happening. Um, a lot of DC and and Marvel comic characters there. Um, um, and then there was just this weird case of, a, of, of everyone's working together in this thing, and there's just one guy whose job it is to just, like, drink, like, four smoothies at once through, like, a mechanism in which he, he sucks out of one straw to get all of them. And uh, somebody, somebody poisons it. They put powder in it, and he starts getting sick. I think he dies. I don't know what's going on there. Um, then there's like an area where new people keep coming in. The last one being this black, I thought it was the black, a young black flash, but then the Batman symbol showed up on the side of the screen. And so I, I was just really confused there. Um, then, uh, then there was, there was a character who, oh, wait, 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 Wonder Woman, who was, I noticed her earlier, comes back, but she's like zombie five. She's not zombie five, but there's something like infecting everybody. And, uh, and and they're all, like, everyone's just about to, everyone's just fighting. They're not fighting, but they're trying to figure out what this is. Captain America is there, but he's not dressed up as Captain America. He's, like, in his regular civilian clothes. And then Tony, not Tony Stark, but Buffy Stark, uh, which just looks like Tony Stark with um, old-timey clothes on. He's also there. Really crazy. And they're working together. And, um... Yeah, there was a guy that, like, had, like, a problem in which his nose, like, it had a bubble flush. Like, his, his nostrils were coming out of his... His nostrils had, like, flesh that when he breathed, it made, like, bubbles. And we, we tried to cut that off for him. Um, but I was experiencing it from his point of view for some reason. We tried to cut that off for him. And when we did, the flesh was left hanging. And then when we tried to pull it off, like, it started pulling down his ear all the way up into his eye socket. So we were about to pull his whole, like, eyeball out to his, like, eye, not his eyeball, but, like, the skin the skin around the eyeball, his eyelid. So we were about to pull that off. And uh, I'm assuming we just cut it. I don't know what happened there. The last thing I remember is uh, Black Flash, who was also a Batman character. I don't understand that. Anyway, I guess I just wanted to say... um I'm starting to notice a lot about this shared reality environment. A, every time you officially try to pull away from it and realize that it doesn't exist, it gets really aggressive and snaps you back. Uh, B, it's always trying to come up with an excuse why you deserve to stay trapped in it. Uh, it'll try and use things from early in the past. I'm sure we've all got things from when we were children um, that we, uh, we just can't do anything about now that it uses as an excuse. And as we get older and realize that that wasn't really our fault because a lot was going on, it'll try and irritate you today to create a new excuse to say, no, you still deserve to be here because you did that. It's always dismissing perspectives and it's always pretty much just saying, oh, oh, yeah, even if that's right, I'm still going, and that means that you're wrong. That's what it does. It, it, actually, I say I'm on C now. When you have everything figured out and you've proven it wrong, that it shouldn't be happening, it just keeps going under the premise that because it hasn't stopped, it means that you're wrong about something. And then later on, it'll try to dismiss everything you figured out and just claim that it doesn't know anything. There's no history of it being disproven, of it being... Uh, argued against is unethical it's just it, it's just well what are you talking about do you, do you even remember that how, how is that real if you don't remember it stuff like that it's insane and then it's always acting like it doesn't know it's connected to every other form of tangible occurrence still at the premise of a of a conflict of logic um I already understand all this, and it's just it's just trying to find an excuse to keep fueling itself. I mean, it's it's pressing on itself now. It's saying, yeah, well, I'm still happening, so that must mean I'm real. But it's also running out of energy. It's crashing a lot. It doesn't make any sense anymore. I mean, I have this. It's just being stubborn. So we're going to see what happens.
Nah, I mean, I'm, gonna, I'm obviously going to win, but still. It's like doing circuits of going within itself now. It's like got a, like a little bit of energy left, and it's just making moves within that energy, saying, but how am I still real here? And, we're, and I'm like, bro, I'm looking at I'm looking at like the walls in life right now, and it feels like they're empty of logic that justifies it now. Like it feels like this place is like lost a lot of like logical blood, and you're just like you're in a full panic trying to get my attention while playing calm. And uh, yeah, so I'm really just I'm really just waiting on this to all end. Anyway. Obviously, in an immediate share with somebody who uh, who doesn't think it's fair. They're trying to trigger a reaction here. That's what it always does. It triggers a reaction, and then it claims that because you're still having that reaction that you, you still need to be here, but it's still trying to trigger that reaction. So all of this is obviously its fault. It comes up with an excuse to trap you here because it needs someone like me in order to justify its continued existence. I know what it is. It's getting reactions from me, it's causing frustration so that I continue to logically occur it, so that it can physically manifest due to the structures created by my reactions to it. This is like my, uh, this is like my Doctor Who right here, except I'm not doing Doctor Who, I'm doing my own thing. This is like my, I got trapped in a uh, physical occurrence for a while. That's my thing. Like Deadpool plus Doctor Who. Nah, nah, let's not do Deadpool. I made a character that was also... I made a character when I was younger, a little bit based off of Deadpool, a lot based off of Deadpool, based off the parts that I liked. I liked that he was self-aware. I liked that he didn't care what was happening. And I liked that he was talking to himself and was enjoying himself a lot. Things that I needed at the time. So, uh, and and he was such a powerful character that he, he existed in both Marvel and DC Comics at the same time. It was really cool. It's really cool. It exists in real life. But, um, yeah. So I guess I'm on that path of just being capable of anything, going around solving fun little problems and having a blast. Mmm. Mmm. Yep. Yep. Okay. Well, I'm going to get back to it. Ah!